Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I will be showing you about the Event Reminders plugin in Moodle. This Event Reminders plugin allows you to automatically send the email reminders to your students as well as the teachers for upcoming scheduled events in the Moodle calendar. These reminders are very useful for the teachers as well as for the students in order to recall any upcoming scheduled events. For example, you can use this to send the email reminders to the students in case of any upcoming assignment due date. You can choose the option to send the email to the students either one day, three day or seven day or any other day before the actual event. So let us see how you can use this event reminders plugin in Moodle. You can download this plugin from the Moodle plugins directory and once downloaded you can install this on your Moodle site. Now I will just directly jump to my Moodle site and show you what all configuration options are available and how you can use them. So as you can see I am logged into the Moodle site as an admin and right now I am on this local plugins uh, and reminders page in the plugins option. Here I can see the configuration options for this reminders plugin. The first option is the enabled. If you want to keep this plugin enabled then you need to keep it as the check or if you want to disable sending the reminders automatically then you can uncheck this box to disable this plugin. But I will leave it as the default checked for this option. The second option is to use the server time zone. This setting use, you need to be careful because uh, the information in the Moodle dashboard is now dependent on the preferred time zone selected in the user profile. So I will suggest you to better keep it as unchecked. In the next option, you can choose the prefix for the message title. This is the prefix which will be inserted to the title of every reminder message which will be sent from the Moodle to any user. The next option is to send as. Here you can choose the user which needs to be specified for the emails which are sent out of the Moodle. Generally you will use it as the site admin only. The next option is the no reply name. Here you need to specify the username for the reminder emails when these are sent as the no reply user. So I will just leave it as the default for the time being. The next option is to filter the calendar events. Here you need to figure out which calendar events should be filtered and send reminders for them. The options available are all events or the only visible events in the calendar. So for this example, I will choose only visible events in the calendar. In the next field, you can choose the excluded modules. What does this mean is that for the activities chosen in this area will not be having any reminder messages sent from this plugin. So be careful, you need to choose any specific modules to disable here just choose them otherwise I will suggest you to keep as it is without choosing any option here the next thing is about the reminder email customization here you can completely customize the email sent to the users the first option is about the custom email header here you can specify the header content you can include your institution logo or you can use any other branding messages in this header area. The next option is to choose the email footer. If you want to use the default email footer, then you can keep it yes or otherwise you can choose the customer custom email footer here. The next option is about the calendar events change reminder. In case any events in the calendar are changed, then this plugin can also send the reminders so these settings will be checked before considering any individual event type 
so you can choose either of these but i will suggest to keep them as no the next options are for the different calendar events types first the option is for the site event reminders the next option is for the user event reminders the third option is for the course event reminders the next one is for the activity event reminders the last option is for the group event reminders and then the last one is for the course category event reminders my apologies <clears throat> so we will check them one by one for the site event reminders this plugin can send the reminders for all the calendar events which are marked as the global events in moodle you can choose any number of specific days here or if you want any custom schedule you can enter it here if you want to enable it for the calendar change events then you can select yes in this checkbox for the user event reminders there are similar fields so i will not elaborate on them for the course event reminders you can also choose the default send before period and even you can choose the custom schedule period here you can also choose the allowed roles which will be having to receive the reminders generally the students will be the role to receive the reminders but you can choose the teacher as well as the non editing teacher also the next option is for the activity event reminders here you can choose the option to send the reminder if the activity is not completed and if the user has completed the activity then no reminders will be sent so better to keep it as yes the second option is activity overdue reminders but uh the second option is the activity overdue reminders if check this then the reminders will be sent to the users which have this activity as overdue means they have not yet completed it by the due date you can choose the different um message titles as well as the message uh, in this fields and then you can choose the time period for this similarly you can choose the allowed roles here and then you have the option for the group event reminders the first option is for the group uh, the first option is to show the group name in the message here the group will be shown to the student and then you can choose the schedule for the group events the next one is for the course category event reminders so if this is checked then the reminders will not be sent for the completed courses so first one is for the completed courses no reminders the then you can choose the different schedule options as we discussed before and once you are done then you need to click on save changes here now what this plugin will do is if a student has not yet completed any activity and the due date is approaching and for that activity you have sent a reminder of let us say 3 days so what this plugin will do is it will send a automatic reminder on the email of the student to inform them that a upcoming activity is due in the next 3 days so that they can plan and go to the moodle site and complete their activity on their own but in order to in order for this plugin to work but in order to work but for this plugin the cron job has to be set on your moodle site properly so please make sure that you have the cron running and set up properly on your moodle site otherwise this plugin will not function and will not send the event reminders to the students so thank you very much for watching this video If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon and please share your views about this plugin in the comments section below thank you very much for watching